Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. So I'm going to call this video Humpty Dumpty Sumpty. Uh, this is the sump off the Monarch that I have to fix before I can even attempt to try and fire the thing up because it's hydraulic and uh, I'm going to hold hydraulic oil because it looks like this. So it's pretty bad. Uh, it cracks through here. Split up both sides down to here somewhere. It's cracked through that flange. Just split over here. So it's in pretty bad shape. I'm not the uh, world's foremost expert on uh, TIG welding aluminum. This is cast aluminum. Don't have a way to recast it either. So this one will. I looked up uh, getting a billet block and machined it out, and the material was almost six hundred dollars. So uh, just to waste you know, eighty percent of it, I don't think I'm gonna go that route. So I am going to attempt to weld up all these cracks in this thing and uh, get it back to original. That would be my number one preference. If that doesn't pan out, I might have to just get some sheet and fab up a sump and weld it up and try that and see how that goes. So let me get this thing cleaned up to where I can even think about welding on it and see what I can do. Well, Humpty Dumpty Sumpty's coming along. I've got this crack that was all down here welded back up. Got these corner cracks welded up. I got this bottom that was shattered and the corner patched back in. So I'm getting ready to try to get the other three pieces put back in here. So that's the pieces I've got left. Uh, I don't know if I've got these little bits that go in here. I might have to weld all that, fabricate it. If I can't find some chunks to fit it. So, nothing left to do but get to it. I'll see what I can cobble up and bring you back. Well, it's uglier than homemade sin and hotter than a firecracker, but uh, I think it actually looks pretty solid. So I'll probably take a sander wheel and go over this a little bit and clean it up some so it's not quite so ugly. And then uh, I'll fill this thing up with water and see if it holds overnight or if it leaks out. I figure if it holds water, it'll probably hold oil because usually the water's a little more uh, prone to going through small holes in oil. But uh, Certainly a challenge. I'm no pro at uh, welding up cast aluminum, or welding any kind of aluminum for that matter. But I think I've managed to get it done. So it's been a lot of good TIG practice getting this thing TIGged up. There's several hours in going through this thing. And it's uh, more challenging than just practicing on sheets because you got to get up in these corners and edges and all that stuff and it's hard to fit the torch in there and get the angle and get your rod in and it's good practice I figure so even if it didn't work out then uh, I will learn something anyway so let's see if this thing will hold water amazing what a little grinder action will do looks a whole lot better now Almost a halfway respectable repair. Well, I've got this warped up uh, piece. All the welding on this is distorted some, plus the fact, you know, it was crashed and dropped a couple 30,000 pounds on it. It's probably been at some too, aluminum wheel bend. So I'm going to try and get this cleaned up on the mill. I don't want to have to put the vertical attachment back on here at this time because I got another job to do 
that'll require it to be off and it's a big pain in the butt putting it on and off in here so I'm gonna try and skip that and use one of these large two inch end mills that I bought up at uh, Mr. Pete's event guy there had them and was selling them and I picked a couple of them up and you've probably seen a lot of these on other people's channels but I don't know if you've ever seen anybody use one of them and you've probably definitely not seen anybody use one like this to plane a large surface but uh, got this held in the vise and sitting up on parallels on each side of the flange with my precision ground step blocks I made a long time ago that I used for setup work uh, that's the best way I could do to get this somewhat flat to what the original was. There was no other machine surfaces on this besides that. So I want to try and remove as little as possible and get this flat to have a decent gasket surface back where it's less likely to leak. You know, it's probably only out 10 thousandths or so. I could have gommed it up with silicone or something and made it seal, but I'd rather not. So. Let's uh, fire the mill up and see if I can make this cut across here without throwing this piece out. I just got a bunch of cardboard and paper stuck in the back side of this vise to uh, allow for the uneven characteristics of the casting, plus where it's been welded and bent and put back and it's not perfect. So just try and go slow and not throw this out of here. And get a decent piece, so let's get at it. Well, I'm not going to keep trimming this down until there's nothing left just to get this corner cleaned up. I'm past halfway through the bolt holes, 
So it should have plenty of clamping surface for the gasket to seal this up. It should be plenty good. So I'm not going to worry about that. And uh, let this go. That way I have the counter bores on these where the bolts go up. Don't get super thin cutting a bunch of material off. I like to keep as much of that as possible so I've got a good clamp or clamp on the gasket so it seals up. This is on the bottom of 20 gallons of oil so I don't want to leaking out all of the floor all the time. But uh, so far I'm satisfied with how this is turning out considering the basket case it was when I started welding it up. It sure looks a whole lot better and it uh, did hold water there in the water test. So and that was before I painted it inside. The paint should help seal any porosity that's still left in it. So, well, a little grinder and paint action certainly did make this look a lot better than when it started. So, not the prettiest thing inside, but hey, you know, for my first piece of cast aluminum. TIG welding back together, I think it turned out all right. Uh, especially not having holes and porosity in it. So I'm glad about that. I guess that's going to be it for this video. Uh, next up will be getting this put back on the lathe and getting it filled up and maybe getting some power hooked up to it and seeing if it'll turn on even. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.